But just want to point you out to an incident about 10 minutes before full time. Cristiano Ronaldo walking down the tunnel early, Jose, when the team's winning. How would that come off to the players? How would that come off to his teammates, not providing that support all the way to the end? Obviously, my opinion is he is not great doing that. That's the truth. The excuse it will be that he went to the toilet, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the excuse. If you want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, so. Exactly. That's what he will say, probably. Or probably he doesn't say anything, you know. But it's not, it's not good that from, from him, in my opinion. I don't think it's good that in the dressing room, I know, obviously, I have all my respects as a former player for him. He's one of the best in the history, that's true. But even that, you are not, I don't think it's good for the dressing room. And, and the team is winning, are playing well. You are part of the team. You should be happy for the team. If you are not playing, well, it's, it's what it is, you know. You should have to earn your place. But it's not good. If you ask me, if I was his teammate, I would not be happy with, mm. with that. I mean, Mike, from a coaching perspective, sulking when your team is winning. I mean, one thing, yeah. He well, we don't know whether he was sulking for a start. But, <laughs> but it looks he's like a he did, yeah. he's a proud man. He's a proud professional. I agree. It doesn't come across very well when when the game hasn't finished yet, and you leave the field. Um, I'm sure there'll be a story behind that. That will come out later. But yeah, it's disappointing. But he will he will obviously have thought he could have contributed to that game. And, and knowing Cristiano. He'll have felt even at 2-0 that there was enough value for him to go on to the game and score a goal. Mm. He would have just have had that hunger. And then when the manager makes the decision that he's no longer available... But you can't be bigger than the team, really. That's no, the one thing. I, I, I don't disagree with that. Um, and it's disappointing. It is disappointing, and I'm sure they'll address that uh, within the club. But it's not, it's not really the first time that he's done it. It's more often than not showed dissatisfaction, even when the team is winning. And he knows that that generates headlines. He knows that creates a buzz. He knows that has a negative press on him, but he keeps doing it. Yeah, but sometimes you, you know, it is what it is and, and you have to grow up. The player has to grow up sometimes. You know, he's mature, he's experienced. I think it is disappointing that he's, he's, he's walked off the field before the end of the game. We don't know the reasons why, but we can, we can assume that he was... He was annoyed at not being given any minutes. On I'll the, be surprised on the pitch. if it's a toilet issue. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach issues. Me too. Issues. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, is United a better team without Cristiano Ronaldo? I know that sounds really, it's, it's a bit of a catch 22 situation because we know the goals that he provides. But today, we see United play as a collective, Jose. Without him on the pitch. I'm going to go a little bit more deep than Mike because I know Mike tried to escape the, the <laughs> question, you know, it is normal, you know, but for me, I think Tenag is, maybe, I don't know, eh? I have no idea, I'm not in the dressing room, but for what you can see, he would like to don't have Cristiano in the team, in my opinion, he will go for another player, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but at the end, when you bench someone like Cristiano that scored 18 goals last season, obviously, is because, like he mentioned before, he's playing with a lot of young players in front. He won energy. Ronaldo is not going to give you that energy. Maybe he's wrong or not. That is in opinion. But that's what he wants to do as a manager. So he's respectful. So in my opinion, I don't think he won Cristiano in the team. But obviously, he's not going to say it publicly. And he's going to wait until it happens. And he doesn't have to say publicly. We were talking about before. Mm. He doesn't have to say it. That's because he doesn't want to put any pressure on the team. And let's have Cristiano in a bad mood every single day in the dressing room until he goes. But definitely, I don't think he... I don't think as a manager he wants to talk too much about Cristiano yeah. because he's picking a team and that's his role. His role yeah. is to pick the team yeah. to win the game. With that being with Cristiano in it or not, right now the last thing on a manager's mind will be... Cristiano because he's, he's picked the team to win and it's won and it's performed really well. So from Eric's point of view, he's pleased. He's got no... He doesn't need to answer those questions. It's yeah. there on the field. Yeah, but then when like this happens, it creates a very unhappy dressing room which has a domino effect on everything else. Would you want that sort of... That sort of... But why, I, I don't understand why it would be an issue in the dressing room. The team that played was picked by the manager to win the game and the team's won. Why would they now be thinking about Cristiano right now. They've won. They scored goals. Yeah, but it's sad as well, in my opinion, it's sad that the team is, is winning and actually play a really good performance mm -hmm. today. And tomorrow the news is gonna be about Cristiano yeah, well, leaving mm -hmm. leaving the, the, the stadium. That's the reality. And and he knows that. And that's what I don't like about it. Knowing that you first say, okay, I want to play, but I know I'm gonna be the news because it's the big man. That's the reality. Why I do that? You know, I want to still have the 
that's what I don't like about it. More mm -hmm. than actually he left the pitch, that I think is unrespectful for your teammates. It's like doing that, I know tomorrow it's in the front page is going to be me is and it, not the team. Is his ego becoming a problem? For me, yes. For me, I'm, you know how I am. I'm going to tell you what I think. It doesn't matter if it's Cristiano or whoever. I think uh, he has... I understand the ego as well. You're talking about one of the best players ever. Of course. That's the reality. So I understand the ego until one point. And maybe he wanted to live in the summer, like we were talking before, and at the end didn't have the offer that he wanted, or Manchester United didn't have the offer that they wanted. But at the end, you have to accept the reality, and the reality, you are 37, I think it's 37 no? yeah. now, and you don't start for United. And it's what it is, and you need to accept it and keep working and, and take it. But it's easy to say from here mm. to one of the best players ever in the history. But that's what I say. I don't like what he's done today, knowing that tomorrow he's going to be first page on the papers. And we're contributing to that. <laughs> that talk as yes. well. It's a little bit <laughs> yeah. ironic. But I don't know, Mike. Do you, do you think his ego is becoming a problem? Can too big of an ego become a problem at a club? Um, no, I think every player has their moments. You know, they're, they're confident enough, they're professional enough. Ego's good. Ego's good. Great players have egos. But there's, there's sort of a line but that then, you... But you know. then, yeah, obviously, that, that you have to take that into what it brings to the team, what it brings to the environment. And I'm sure they've assessed that. They won't assess that just on today. They'll have assessed that over a period of time. So, yeah, there'll be decisions made in the future about Cristiano, from him and from Manchester United, I'm sure. What happened tonight doesn't help the cause. I agree with that. But it's just another story. It's just another story. What is important for Manchester United and the manager and the staff there is Manchester United turned up tonight. They put on a performance when they probably weren't the favourites in the game at the start. Yeah. But they can now collectively go into the next game feeling a lot better with the group of players that started the match and finished the match. So it's a win-win for Manchester United. Not a, there should be no negative there at all.